Okay, this is a test. This is what my face looks like without makeup. And when I get brave enough, I will probably try to do get ready with me's just like this. But right now, no. So I'm gonna pause this and then put my makeup on. <laughs> okay, I decided to go on ahead and just do it right on out. So far, I have got my um, hydrating primer by Creations Flawless Stay on, and then I put the Believe Beauty um, foundation from, you get it from the dollar store, and it is in the shade um, Nude that is on my face. So, and then I went into my Going Coconuts palette, and on this eye, I have um, Colada, and I'm still kind of pouncing on this eye right here. And I am by no means a professional. And I'm just kind of, you know, tap, tap, dab, dab, and maybe a little, you know, a swoosh here. And But this is like a transition shade for me on my left eye. And now I'm going to do the same thing over on the right eye. I have such hooded eyes that it it's it's really really hard to uh, do hooded eyes. Um, my mother she had hooded eyes, and they were they got really really bad um, where the hoods came down over her eyes where she really couldn't see. And they weren't gonna, dad's insurance wasn't going to fix them because they thought it was cosmetic. And it was, you know, not really cosmetic because she couldn't see. And I'm hoping that my eyes don't get like that. Um, but yeah. anyway she had to have all that fixed on both her eyes because her hoods were way down past her lashes and it must be a hereditary thing I'm not real sure And I really don't know what color I'm going to do next. Because usually, whenever I get out a palette, I think yeah, I'm, that's the palette I'm going to use. I use maybe one color out of it and I put it up and get a different one out and go from there. And I'm taking my color switch and cleaning off the eyeshadow that's on here. And put that back in its still, its little holder. And now I'm really kind of wanting to go into um, I'm not real sure which one I want to go into. Um, I do know that I am going to use uh, 
this one right here, Coco Crush. But I am trying to debate whether if I want to go into Nutty or if I want to go into Get crack a lacking this one right here. So, Ooh. I shall see. Uh, like I said, I'm not a professional, and usually I don't do this like this. And then I was just, you know, sitting here doing the one eye and thinking, you know, Heil, what the hey? <laughs> so. Here we go. On the high oh, what the hay. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this uh, lavish eye shading brush and let me see if this is I don't know. I might go into that. And I don't do swatches very well, just so you know. But I think that I will put that on the outer corner. Ooh, it's got a lot of kick up on that. I'm going to take that all the way over here on the outer corner and the inner corner. And it does have fallout. Hopefully I can fix that. Okay, and that's th this eye. It's not done, but that's all I'm going to do to it. So hopefully I can make the other eye look the same. <laughs> and all out of all honesty, this is really nerve wracking because I've not done this. Kind of, it's kind of like a live, but not. You know what I mean? But I'm working on it. It's like all my life I've been just kind of nervous about doing things like this. But, I suppose I gotta start somewhere. I gotta get out of my comfort zone.
I can't just, yeah. Yeah, y'all know what I mean. And I'm not real sure if they look the same, but maybe they do and maybe they don't, but hopefully it'll all work out. So I know this is kind of a grungy look, but I do like it. And then I'm going to take the Cocoa Crush and I'm going to put that on my ring finger here and And I'm going to go back into the get crack a lacken Go over it right there. Alrighty, I'm done with this palette, and it's for the last uh, few videos I made, I used like three or four palettes, and this time I just used one, which is kind of good, <laughs> I hope. I don't know if it looks very funny, I mean, let's see what you guys think. Now I've got to uh, yeah, I really wished my eyes weren't hooded. It would probably look a lot better, but I'm working with what the Lord gave me, so okay, now what? <laughs> All right. Or I'll, I'll put my going coconut over here. Um, let's see if I can 
get this fallout off without smearing. If I can get this open here so I can see. I do need some kind of highlighter for my eyebrow or for, you know, my. So I'm going to go into this Ofra Signature Palette Sweet Dreams and see what we got in here. I think I will go in with Pillow Talk, which is this middle one here. And I'm using a Luxie uh, mini flat angled, but I'm using it as uh, for a highlighter under my brow, my brow bone. And then for the inner corner here, <clears throat> yeah, I was uh, looking online for my son uh, to get him started on uh, skin care. And uh, they, I, I just really couldn't find anything. You know, well, I found something, but it's just going to be like a, kind of like a starter kit, and, but I would really like for him to, you know, do, you know, because he's wanting to do that, too. And, uh, let's see, I will put on my uh, color pop in uh, Swerve. I like their liners in the gel. They're so easy to put on. Sometimes. <laughs> it's like, well, better rephrase that. And if I'm making a face, I'm sorry.
and I really hate to tug at my under eye. Can't use my left hand, I'll have to change to my right. I don't know, maybe I'll just do it like this. Or maybe like this. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> And I got this in a, it was a secret giveaway. And I've been really trying to do liquid liners. And oh, we're going to give this a whirl. <laughs> but it's like I said, I'm not profesh. Never claimed to be. But I'm going to start. Maybe if I use this magnifying mirror here. I don't know how them girls do this. It's beyond me because that really looks messed up. <laughs> Oh, Lord. <laughs> and knowing that I'm not right-handed, this is really going to look funny. Oh, man. Well, I'm really new at this, so <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry, I should say. <laughs> I tried. I'll get better as long as I keep doing it. And now I am going to put on a blush. And it is actually an eyeshadow. And it's KVD in Lolita. It's actually Kat Von D before they oh, there's my blush brush right there. Okay. I really think this makes a good blush. I'm not sure if I want to use this Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil or not for 
bronzer. I might go into this LMR. And it might look too orange, but we'll give it a go. I think that's pretty. It's not really as orange as I thought it was going to be. going to go into a uh, Nikki Tutorials collab with Ofra in the highlighter glazed donut and I'm using this Juvia's Place brush which is a highlighter brush some of my nose <laughs> yeah, maybe a dab here and a dab here I like highlighter <laughs> And now I'm gonna put on a I don't know if I should use this. It's Prep, Set, and Glow. Haven't used it before, so this is going to be the first time. And it's by Iconic London. And I always do my 
mist before I do my mascara because I don't want it to run or run down my eyes and That's pretty nice for the first time I've ever used it. Looks really good. I like it. What do you think? And I forgot to do my brows. I know I had my brow pencil sitting somewhere. <laughs> I like the billion dollar brow and I don't know what I've done with it. They knew I had it sitting out here somewhere. Oh boy, I'll have to look for something else. found it. I've really thought about dyeing my brows. I watched Taylor Wynn do it, and that way I wouldn't have to, you know, <laughs> do this. But she just used, um, it's the man's mustache and beard dye. So, I've thought about it. But I don't know. I'd probably make a mess. And not to mention, in this brow here, there's missing hair. Uh, I guess that's... goes with the territory. <laughs> now let me brush that out. Got an email the other day about my 
Walmart beauty box. Um, maybe I'll get a new brow or whatever in there. I wish this Benefit brow wasn't so expensive and I'm really glad that I can I got it from BoxyCharm. I was looking up the price of this just like, oh my lord, this is expensive. But I sure do like it. I would, would like it if I could get the other Benefit brow product they have with this. Alright. There's that. Now for my lashes. This is scary. I'm using for my top lashes, I'm using the Grande Mascara Lash Boosting Formula. And generally, I poke myself in the eye. I also got this here from a boxy charm box. I used to get both the the base box and the premium box and at one time I got the lux box, but I just uh, knocked it down to the premium box. So that's the only box I get now from boxy charm and I get the AIA Beauty Bundle, which I didn't get in November's. So I'm waiting for December. And then quarterly, I get orally fingernail polish. This is a long video. <laughs> That's what worries me. I know people don't like watching long videos, but Now that is what I use for my top lashes. And then I use uh, Hank and Henry because it's got a very small brush on it, which I believe it makes easier for my bottom lashes.
I've been thinking about getting prenatal pills, <laughs> vitamins to help my hair and my eyelashes to grow. Although I did order some uh, Lily Lash Growth Serum, so hopefully that'll work. Now I need a lip color. I think I will use this Tristique A Map for Every Mood, which I got from BoxyCharm. And I'm going to be using it's a mini matte lip crown in Florence Fig. to me. Okay, and this is the finished look. I hope you like it. It's the first time I've ever done this like this, like a get ready with me. And I guess it wasn't really that bad, but it looks like it's a long one, so... <laughs> I hope you watch it, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe, and I would also like you to give me a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment, and I hope you have a great day, weekend, night. Wherever you may be, just be blessed and just thank you.